Hey everyone, this is Ryan Corcoran, Broadcast Buddy TV, and the all-around go-to channel for all things broadcast television. And on this channel, it is our goal to equip you with the tips, tricks, and know-hows to help make you a better broadcaster. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. With that being said, let's get started. So today we are going to do a fun little build. Um, it's not as complicated as some of the other ones we've done in the past, but uh, necessity nonetheless. So what I want to do today is build a Sempty Fiber power breakout box. So Sempty Fiber is a hyper cable that is used to carry data over single mode fiber, two strands, as well as power. And it's most commonly used to connect a remote camera to a local CCU camera control unit. It's very useful and very common these days because of its utility and the ability to transmit those signals over long distances. So there are ways that you can actually take the power and break it out and use it for other means. And that's what we're going to try and do today. So the reason this is a project that I want to work on is because of a new type of event that we started doing recently with our trucks. And that happens to be drag racing. Now with drag racing, there is a lot of distance involved. And when it comes to placing our cameras around the tracks, it hasn't really been a big issue because again, all of our cameras are already using Sempty Fiber. Where the issue comes from is we have to have a wireless camera that is down at the starting line. And aside from that, we need to have our audio breakout box down there too, so that we can get the remote audio from the opposite side of the track. So typically how we usually run the breakout box, uh, the press box is what we call it, is with standard tack fiber. Usually anywhere from two to eight strands, depending on what type of signals we need to transmit at any given time. But for this, we only actually need two strands because we are gonna be just transmitting network. And the reason we can do that is because our audio side is primarily Dante Audio, which is a network-based audio protocol, and the wireless camera, we're gonna be bringing back NDI. But coming back to the reason why I wanna do this is because the longest tech fiber run that we have is 500 foot, and to get to the starting line, it's about 600 foot. Now, we do have multiple runs of 500 foot, and yes, I could just couple those together with a uh, standard LC coupler. However, the other side of that is getting power down to the starting line, because in this scenario, at the particular track that we're at, there's not really a good way to get power down there. So what we have done in the past is just run a series of extension cords, which now we're running two lines, fiber and power. So doing this, I hope to be able to combine those together to make a more streamlined single run that will take both power and data from the LC fiber and be able to get it from there. Now, as for the actual components, we're gonna be using, uh, reach back here, a uh, Pelican case, which is the 1120 model. So very small, you don't need anything that's really ridiculous. Um, and then we're gonna be drilling into that so that we can mount our Edison plugs on the side for power, as well as a LC feed through or coupler, um, switchcraft, that we can put in the side and again, mount that. And then of course, the actual breakout cables themselves that will have the Limo connector for the Sempty fiber with the breakout going to our single mode LC fiber, as well as our bare leads, which we were going to put these into the actual Edison plug. Now I'll put links to all these parts in the description below. So uh, if you do want to take something like this on, Make sure you check those out. All right, so here are effectively all the pieces that we need to make this work, starting with the Pelican case. So just to give you guys an idea of what this is gonna look like, on the inside, we're going to be able to mount this over here to let's say the, uh, the side here, and then through here, we will be able to take our uh, LC fiber into our coupler, which will be mounted here on this side. And then these guys are three cables that will pull out of here, our uh, 
hot ground and neutral will come into our Edison plug and that'll be mounted on the side here. So that's really it. That's all the complexity that is this breakout box. And then essentially the same thing on the opposite side. And then once everything's together, then this will be closed. That'll be on the outside and you can plug this empty fiber in there and away we go. And now here we are back from the shop and uh, shout out to Jay, by the way, that was our master craftsman who was helping us there. And uh, because you guys know me and power tools uh, don't really mix. So uh, yes, shout out to Jay. He did an excellent job with uh, getting all the connectors put on and such. So now again, it's my turn to do the electrical. And as far as electric goes, this is about as straightforward as it gets, right? We have our Edison plugs, which we did not screw in because I'm gonna to have to pull these out to get around to the uh, contacts. But again, it's just going to be black for hot, white for neutral, and green for ground. So we're gonna put these in here, and then once these are in, then we can go ahead and we'll also put in the LC fibers into the coupler. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. Everything is all wired. Now the only thing left to do is to test them and uh, hope nothing blows up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give these a test. So in order to do this, I have a 25 foot empty jumper cable. So this one, I probably should label these at some point will be our truck end so let's go ahead and put this in and uh, for no anyone who's never inserted SMT fiber before you want to make sure that you line it up with the orange tick so for our boxes we intentionally made the orange tick go towards the back so you can see that there is a so you can see that there is an alignment. So orange tick with orange tick. So we put that in and that'll snap into place. And then same thing with this one, right? So we have a orange mark with a 
orange mark. So put that in. Okay, so both of these are plugged into the fiber. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a power cord, which is plugged into the wall, and we can always verify that we are getting power. Put that up on the stand so we can see it. So my meter is looking for AC voltage, and from the wall, this should be 120 volts, because we're in America, and uh, would be 240-ish over in Europe. So now what we'll do is we will plug this in to, again, the truck side, where we would be supplying our power. And if all goes correctly, then on the remote side, we should be getting 120 volts. Perfect. And I know the fiber is gonna work. That's just a straight shoot anyways. So there you have it. We have our Simti Fiber power breakout boxes. All right, so I did just wanna show you guys exactly the, the scenario that this is gonna be in. So this is our remote press box, which is uh, carrying a Midas M32C with a Dante card attached to it with a breakout box connected over AES-50. And uh, over here is the breakout box. So you can see that we are pulling power off of it as well as fiber. And that is going directly into our network switch. And the power plug is going directly into the uh, power, distribution, wow, power distribution block down here at the bottom. And this is connected to a thousand foot Semti reel that we could follow the whole way back. So here's our reel. And then we are plugged into a, another 25 foot jumper, which is coming into the side of the truck, sorry, into the side of the box here. And then on this side, we have a extension cord, which is powering the box and our fiber, which is going into our land switch. So there you go, all working, all functional, saving us a lot of cable runs and a lot of headache. And that'll about do for today's video. I appreciate you sticking around this long. And uh, if you liked what you saw, please like, share and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you right here next time on Broadcast Buddy TV.